Well, good morning again. Um, I'm speaking to you on Friday, the um, 20th of November, I think it is. And um, it's a delight to be able to come into your homes and into your offices to um, share a few pro problems or also a few concerns and also good news about our parish community. Sunday, of course, is the Feast of Christ the King this Sunday. And... Um, we have adoration in the afternoon following this Spanish one o'clock mass until six o'clock in the evening we have benediction. That's a tradition in our parish that goes back for many years. We have adoration in the afternoon. It's the end of the church year. It's a good time to take stock of ourselves and see where we stand in relationship to God and get ready for a new beginning a week from Sunday, the first Sunday of Advent. Thanksgiving is this coming week too, as you well know. And... Um, we will have a Mass of Thanksgiving at 9 o'clock in the morning. And that's the only Mass we have that day. Uh, and we invite you to come on in and join us. There's plenty of room in the church to, to have um, that safe distancing, social distancing. And, of course, you have, we have to wear masks when we come to church. And again, I urge you to follow those directives. Wash your hands often. Pure, um, sanitize them. And also wear a mask everywhere you go, as well as, um, as well as keeping that social distancing. It's the only thing that's going to bring down, according to scientists and doctors, um, the COVID. And we need to get rid of that as soon as possible. So take your own responsibility for that. And um, I, wear, I hate a mask, but I wear them just because of that. Concern for other people. We all need to be concerned for others. Advent starts, as we said, a week from Sunday on the um, last Sunday of, of um, November. We also have, because it's a fifth Sunday, we have a, a collection for St. Vincent local needs. The calls on us have been really dramatic at numbers. People are hurting. And I especially uh, am sympathetic for all those who were, by these latest restrictions, who are out of work, particularly those who work in restaurants, because I know you're, many of you are hurting, and I, I would love to be able to help everyone and satisfy all their financial needs, but I, we're not in a position to do that. We can help a little bit at times, and if you really are in, in need, give me a call. Give me a call. During Advent, we have usual food uh, collections for uh, the needy, our local needy, and also for wrapped Christmas presents, but they have to be listed on the outside for whom they're made up, whether it's a man or woman, a boy or girl, what age group, age appropriate, all those sort of things. Just put a little note on the outside of any package you want to give that's wrapped, and we'll make sure that it gets to someone that's really needy and deserving of it. Uh, we have evening prayer. Of course, a beginning uh, in Advent, the last Monday of the month, uh, every Monday of Advent, or at least for three Mondays of Advent, the, the 7th of December, we have the, a vigil mass for the um, Holy Day. But um, the other Monday evenings at 5.30, we have that evening prayer. It's been our tradition. We're going to have it in the cathedral this year rather than the chapel. So we want to make sure that everybody can keep that proper distancing between you. So we all will start during Advent, reconciliation, confessions, on Tuesday evening from 6 to 7, as well as on Saturday afternoon from 4 to 5. Because there's no Advent reconciliation services this year um, because of the dangers from the pandemic. And so we try to make up for that and provide extra times for reconciliation on the, uh, at, from 6 to 7 every Tuesday evening. Uh, I encourage you very much to get your annual Catholic appeal uh, pledges back in as soon as possible. Our diocese depends on that, our bishop does, for his own ministry and the ministry of the greater church. And so if you can do what you can, we have a, a goal of 95,000, over 95,000 this year. And um, we're nowhere able to meet it right now. And I ask you please to be cooperative and to get those cards back. It's part of our mission as church to support the not only our local church, our parish, 
but also the greater church, our diocese. The Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe comes up on the 12th of um, December, and um, it's, on, it's on a Saturday this year. Um, there's going to be a procession here in the morning, on Saturday morning, right after the um, there'll be a Mass offered here um, in the morning. Father Jesus will offer Masses in the morning. Check with his website, um, Telecast 2, where he has all the details of that. But um, And the bishop will offer Mass at St. Joseph's at noon on that day. There's still a restriction of 200 people or 25% capacity of a building, so everybody probably won't get in. But after the morning Mass here, um, he's planning to have a Mass here later in the morning, uh, probably, probably at 7 and at maybe 9, and after that, there'll be a procession down to uh, St. Joseph's for that Mass at noon that the bishop will celebrate. A bishop will also, on Telemundo, will um, celebrate Masses at 1 and 5 in the morning. So it'll be on Telemundo, and everybody's invited to watch that. For anything that's related to Guadalupe Feast, um, we need to have be careful that um, we don't, have crowds assembled, we can't take care of that. Even in the church for masses, we can only have that limit of about 175 people um, because we're bound to keep that state law too. So um, watch Father uh, Jesus telecast that he'll put on a little later and get all those details from that. Um, let's see. We have the Immaculate Conception Feast coming up on the 8th of December. It's a Tuesday. It's a holy day for all of us. And um, although no one's obliged, as we know, for the obligation right now, but it is a day of obligation. Uh, and Masses will be offered on Monday evening at 5.30, on Tuesday at 11 o'clock, and 7 in the evening. Um, that'll be a bilingual Mass. That's on the Immaculate Conception. We remember the 7th, the 7th of December. I think it's the 79th. Is it? Um, I think it is. Uh, um, anniversary of Pearl Harbor, that day of infamy where we were attacked to begin our entry into the Second World War. And we remember that and all those people who suffered and died at that time. If you have a change of address, please let us know. We're getting back so many mailings from that we send out every month um, because this, the addresses aren't known. Sometimes it's the post office mistake, as we found out, but sometimes it isn't. So if you have a change of address, it would be a great asset and a great benefit to the parish if you'd let us know about it. We really appreciate that. Both Spy Edge and Life Teen won't be meeting in person anymore because of the COVID. They'll be meeting by, um, by Zoom. And, and um, Sean will uh, make, make known the times. And um, also he will um, contact you and let you know what time they'll, they'll go on. So um, stay involved and stay in touch with us. We value you and we respect you as young people of our parish community, and we want you to be involved, even though it's only virtual involvement at this time. Um, I want to wish all of you, and I join with my parish staff as well, and uh, our priests that help, and our bishop too, and wish you all of you the blessings of a wonderful and grateful and happy Thanksgiving. It's a day that's coming upon us. It's a day that's given to us a special day of uh, gratitude to God for the many blessings and favors he gives us. And even in times of adversity and in negative times like these right now, as we're in the midst of the COVID pandemic, um, we have so much to be grateful for. Our own health and our own well-being and the parish community that we belong to and a community that we're privileged to live in, our just the fact we have families and those to support and help us, so much to be grateful for. 
the gift of faith, and particularly God himself. That's a chance to really, on Thanksgiving Day, to really join together in expressing our gratitude, especially with that Mass that we have in the cathedral at 9 o'clock. The reason we have it so early is to not to interfere with football games and things that you want to watch and get involved in later on in dinners. So our uh, Masses on Thanksgiving Day will be at 9 o'clock. Please join us. And now it's my privilege. Oh, don't forget to uh, sign up again for... Um, for uh, Flock Note, which is our uh, way of communication with you electronically. And the details are underneath this video cast in the website. And also we need to get uh, more people involved in Formed, because Formed is the free um, participation in a program that is really great for education and also entertainment. That's the, we've talked about it so often. That's our kind of Catholic Netflix. There's so many films there and, and videos and helps to develop our faith and also just for entertainment for families. So please sign up for those things as soon as possible. I want to offer my gratitude personally to all of you for your continued support and help not only financial, but spiritual, and just uh, helps uh, being encouraging about what we're trying to do at this really harrowing time of the, of the uh, COVID uh, pandemic. We pray for all those who are victims of it and those who respond so generously, our medical people. We have a special also um, concern for all those who are out of work because of the latest restrictions that have been put on, on us. But we realize that for our own good, those restrictions, and in order to get rid of this pandemic so that we can get going back to normal, some kind of normalcy. Now I ask God's blessing upon all of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.